If you don't unzip the file, it will not upload to Silhouette Studio, Design Space, or Shortcuts sure Lot 5. So just remember you have to unzip it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use digital rhinestone templates. So if you don't want to purchase one and wait for it to be made and shipped to you, this is a very fast way where you can get that template and then you can upload it into either Design Space or Silhouette Studio or Scale 5 and cut it with your own rhinestone flock. So I'm going to go over the process of purchasing your template as well as downloading your template and showing you in today's video how to upload into both Design Space and Silhouette Studio. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So first I'm going to show you the process of downloading everything or downloading your templates once you purchase them. So for instance, this is a template from my website that I just purchased. And if you purchase multiple templates, you will see multiple templates listed and then you will have your option for downloads. Now, if you do not see your option for download, you will also receive an email. And in your email, it will have your template that you can download or templates as well and also let you know that the links are only valid for 30 days so once you purchase your digital template you will need to download it within 30 days or uh, or else that link is going to expire so from here so if you don't if you're not able to download it right away say you you're out and you download it and purchase it on your phone and you don't want to download it right then or you can't then you'll also get an email with the link to your download. So you can use either one. And just to show you really quick, on my website where the digital templates are, so there's a link right up at the top and then it'll go through and show you all of the digital templates that are available. Right now there's about 20, 25-ish that are available on the website so if you wanted to purchase any or if you're purchasing from another vendor or another seller then this will still the same process will still apply so once you click on the di digital template that you want to order it'll give you all your information about your template it'll give you the size rhinestones hot fix rhinestones that you need as well as how many rhinestones that will be required as well as the height and the width and these two will be important and we'll come back to that as we're uploading the templates into both design space and silhouette studio and here it also gives you instructions as far as Silhouette Studio goes, which you'll need to do there. And there's also instructions for Design Space. So in case you're not sure, you can either come back to this video or you can go right to the website and that information will be there for you. So now that we've got all that out the way, so what we'll do is start the process of downloading the digital template and then getting them uploaded into Design Space and Silhouette Studio. So whether you're using your confirmation page or your email, you would just click on download. And here is mine's right here and it automatically unzipped for me. Just in case if yours does not unzip, you would just need to click on it. It might give you an option to unzip or um, sometimes if you double click on it, it'll automatically unzip. So just to show you that here, so it may come up as a zip file if it does. In this case, if I unzip it, then mine's automatically goes to SVG, but I am using a Mac. So however you unzip your files, that'll be the same process. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and then I'm gonna jump into Silhouette Studio first. Okay, so here I am in Silhouette Studio and I'm gonna just move my mat over a little bit. And now we have already downloaded and unzipped our file. If you don't unzip the file, it will not upload to Silhouette Studio, Design Space, or Surecut Slot 5. So just remember you have to unzip it. So then from Silhouette Studio, you will go to File, Open. You would find your SVG. Select it, click OK. It might take a minute. And there we go. So let me just move this over a little bit. So remember that I was telling you when I was showing you on the website, the width and the height, that is very important. Now, fortunately, Silhouette Studio, normally whatever size that SVG is created in, most of the time, it will automatically be the correct um, height and width. So for this particular one, it is 9.618, which is correct. And then the height is 7.132, perfect. So there's nothing that I need to do to this template, but just in case if you purchase a template and it comes in at a larger or smaller size, you need to make sure you put it at these exact numbers. Otherwise, when you go to cut your template, it will not cut correctly. So just be mindful of that, that you need to make sure you write that height and width down. So then from there, now that you have it in there and you have your measurements correct, you would just click on send to send it to your mat. I don't have my machine on right now, but um, you will want to make sure that you would select your rhinestone template, which I created. Um, my own settings. So inside Silhouette Studio, there is an actual template, a preset template for cutting your rhinestone templates. And then with mine, I just actually changed the sizing a little bit on it so it would cut my rhinestone flock a little better. So that's the process for once you downloaded your digital template and how to get it into Silhouette Studio. Now let's jump over to Design Space. I'm sorry, yeah, Design Space. And then from there, I'm gonna make this larger. So the process, there's a few more steps with Design Space. So the first thing you wanna do is come over here to the left-hand side and upload and then you're going to click on upload image and then browse and wherever you saved your svg your unzip file then you're going to click on that and select click select your image and then select open and sometimes that little error uh that bar that came up at the top that orange message just ignore that sometimes it may say um this image is too big or this image isn't supported just ignore that wait for it to go away and then you could click upload and also i wanted to bring to your attention if you notice also in the description i put the size in there so you will have the width and the height here as well so just that way it'll be a little bit helpful just in case you know, you're creating your design and for whatever reason can't get to the website or didn't write it down. It's also in the name. So from here, you would click upload. And then you're going to select that upload and add to canvas. And it comes in as this extremely tiny dot here. So in design space, you will always pretty much have to change your width and your height. So we're gonna do that first. So this is 9.618, and then I'm gonna tab over, and then it's 7.132. And there we go. Then we have our exact measurements that we need. Now, if you notice, it comes in 
as individual image or like each rhinestone comes in individually. So you'll want to weld your image. So you'll go down to combine and weld. And then there we go. If you don't weld it, you you will definitely see what happens. It won't, it'll be like either a bunch of dots all over the place or it'll be just one. So you'll want to make sure that you weld your image after you re after you resize it. So now the sizing is where it needs to be. Then from there, you'll just click make it. And then you'll just adjust it on your mat wherever you want it to be. And you don't need to change anything. Do not mirror in design space. And then from there, you would just continue. Now I'm not connected to my machine, so it's not going to let me show you the next steps, but you'll want to make sure your blade pressure is on more and the material you want to use is felt craft bonded. And I'll make sure I have the cut settings for Silhouette Studio as well as Design Space in the description box. And I'll also link a video in the description box and put a card up above that way you'll know what supplies you will need after you create your rhinestone template, how to create your rhinestone transfer. So I'll make sure that information is there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. And that's the process once you receive your digital rhinestone templates. And that way you can get those templates right away, cut your images and create your bling whether you're putting it on a t-shirt or a bag or whatnot. So I hope this video was helpful, giving you this old quick overview of how to download and upload your rhinestone SVGs, well, your digital rhinestone SVGs. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely respond to those questions. Or if you want me to do a follow-up video explaining something that I missed or in more detail, just let me know. So thanks so much for watching and I will check y'all out in the next video.